Well, hello, this is evangelist and uh, Christian author, Matthew Philip Corey. And uh, you know, I've just got a word from the Lord for you today about um, anxiety and overcoming anxiety. I've got TBN on in the background. I watch Trinity Broadcasting Network all the time. And uh, you know, the thing is, I used to struggle with anxiety a lot. I mean, I used to be a mobster, a gangster, uh, I used to be into drugs, all kinds of, um, you know, bad stuff. And um, it's really amazing what the Lord has done in my life and how he has just transformed me from this person who used to be um, just... Uh, just in the middle of sin, in the middle of uh, doing all kinds of bad things, and it had consequences. It had big time consequences because um, I uh, I got into LSD, and now I have to take uh, medications for my uh, for my uh, uh, bipolar and for mental illness. And uh, but the Lord has helped me to overcome mental illness. And it was through prayer and through disclaiming the word of the Lord over my illness and over my uh, bipolar and uh, anxiety. And uh, that's what I would encourage you to do is just, you know, it says in Isaiah that the Lord has a hope and a future for us. And just claim that over your life right now. Just proclaim it. You know, the Lord talks about the power of words and that the, that the power of death and life are in the tongue. That the power of life and death is in the tongue. And so we actually speak things into being. I'm reading a book right now uh, called Quantum Faith about that, which is about how quantum physics relates to um, speaking a word of faith into our lives. And it's so important that we do that and that we learn to speak things into being uh, as a Christian, speak the word of God over our lives and speak positive things into our lives and um, use the power of our tongue. You know, and so I just want to pray for you right now, Lord. I just pray right now for anybody who's watching this, Lord, that you would just be with them, Lord, that they would just claim the word of God that, you know, as you say in Isaiah, that you have a hope and a future for us, Lord. You want things that are good and not evil for us, Lord, and if they have any anxiety in their lives, Lord, depression, Lord, that they would just... Uh, Overcome that by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, Lord, and just Lord, just pray in tongues, Lord, over them, and just pray that this would, um, Lord, that this word from you would be a powerful word it's spoken into their lives, Lord, and just pray those scriptures, you know, that you um, that are about life and love and. Uh, God's power and God's ability to heal in our lives. Just pray that, pray God's healing, declare it over your life. Just say, Lord, I just declare your healing power over my life, over my anxiety, over my depression, over every area of my life. And the Lord will do it. He has said in his word that if we ask anything in his name, believing that it will happen it will happen and so obviously then that's of course within god's will and of course it's not god's will for you to walk around with depression and anxiety all the time so just declare that word of the lord over your life lord that you say anything lord you say in your word that we ask anything in your name that we believe and we have the faith that it will happen it will happen and it will happen for you. So that's my word from the Lord to you about overcoming anxiety. This is evangelist and Christian author Matthew Corey. And oh, uh, don't forget, I've got my uh, I've got my book, Experiencing the Joy of the Lord. I talk in there a little bit about depression, overcoming depression. That's available on Amazon, and it talks about experiencing the joy of the Lord. 
and how we can experience it. It's an 85 page book and that would be a real blessing to you. And also my book about my life story from hell to heaven is also available on amazon.com and I'll put those links in the description so you can uh, get a copy of those. So the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you and may his face shine upon you.